Our story for today is called Dear Mr. Blueberry. And just like Miss Black's name is Black, his name is Blueberry. And then this is the girl in the story, but they've made her be like the stamp. Remember when Miss Black has sent you stuff and there's a little uh, stamp in the corner? That's so you, the post office knows you paid the money for them to take it to the place you want it to go. And then the post office stamps it when they get it um, with something that looks like this. So if you still have my postcard or if you get something in the mail, you can look for these things on the letters. All right. Dear Mr. Blueberry, I love whales very much and I think I saw one in my pond today. Please send me some information on whales as I think he might be hurt. Love, Emily. Do you think that a whale could really live in her pond? Okay. Sticky note was stuck. Dear Emily, here are some details about whales. I don't think you'll find it was a whale you saw because whales don't live in ponds but in salt water. Yours sincerely, your teacher, Mr. Blueberry. Did you catch who Mr. Blueberry is? It says, yours sincerely, your teacher, Mr. Blueberry. So we know Mr. Blueberry is um, her teacher. What reason did he give that it wasn't a whale she saw? He said they live in salt water. Where is salt water usually found? In the ocean. All right. Dear Mr. Blueberry, I am now putting salt into the pond every day before breakfast, and last night I saw my whale smile. I think he is feeling better. Do you think he might be lost? Love, Emily. Do you think that was a good idea to put some salt in her pond? Dear Emily, please don't put any more salt in the pond. I'm sure your parents won't be pleased. I'm afraid there can't be a whale in your pond because whales don't get lost. They always know where they are in the oceans. Yours sincerely, Mr. Blueberry. Dear Mr. Blueberry, Tonight, I am very happy because I saw my whale jump up and spurt lots of water. He looked blue. Does this mean he might be a blue whale? Love, Emily. P.S. What can I feed him with? So when we would write letters as kids, if you forgot to write something in your letter, you would write afterwards P.S. and add it. So she's adding that after she finished her letter. Dear Emily, blue whales are blue, and they eat tiny shrimp-like creatures that live in the sea. However, I must tell you that a blue whale is much too big to live in your pond. Yours sincerely, Mr. Blueberry. P.S. Perhaps it is a blue goldfish? What do you think Emily likes learning about? Can you see from the book she's reading? There's fish on all those pictures. Dear Mr. Blueberry, Last night I read your letter to my whale. Afterwards he let me stroke his head. It was very exciting. I secretly took him some crunched up cornflakes and breadcrumbs. This morning I looked in the pond and they were all gone. I think I shall call him Arthur. What do you think? Love, Emily. Dear Emily, I must point out to you quite forcibly, force, sorry, I can't say the word, quite forcibly now that in no way could a whale live in your pond. Do you know what forcibly means? If you force someone, so that's where the word comes from, forcibly, it means in a forceful way, convincingly. So he's trying to convince her she doesn't have a blue whale living in her pond. 
You may not know that whales are migratory, which means they travel great distances each day. Now, we talked about migration before, but look at this. So the author wrote migratory and put a comma and then says, which means they travel great distances each day. So the author is giving you a clue if you didn't know what migration is or migratory. It's telling you that means they travel great distances each day. So migration means to travel a great deal. Remember we talked about butterflies? Maybe we didn't. Butterflies um, migrate. They actually have one of the biggest migrations. They travel really far from the time they're born till they die. I am sorry to disappoint you. Yours sincerely, Mr. Blueberry. Dear Mr. Blueberry, Tonight, I'm a little sad. Arthur has gone. I think your letter made sense to him, and he has decided to be migratory again. Love, Emily. Dear Emily, please don't be too sad. It really was impossible for a whale to live in your pond. Perhaps when you are older, you would like to sail the ocean studying and protecting whales. Yours sincerely, Mr. Blueberry. By looking at Emily's room, what are some things you think Emily might like? Dear Mr. Blueberry, it has been the happiest day. I went to the beach and you'll never guess, but I saw Arthur. I called to him and he smiled. I knew it was Arthur because he let me stroke his head. I gave him some of my sandwich. And then we said goodbye. I shouted that I loved him very much and I hope you don't mind. I said, do you love him? Loved him too. Love, Emily and Arthur. The end. Do you think she really had a whale living in her pond? It doesn't really tell us. So you get to just decide. Do you think it was like a blue goldfish like Mr. Blueberry thought? A blue goldfish. Or do you think it was a blue whale? 